folks, welcome back to our channel. Yesterday was a day off, but not for us, as we have rounded up Sunday's hottest football news just for you to enjoy. The Brazilian star is on his way to Barcelona, a new twist in Cristiano Ronaldo's transfer saga, and Lionel Messi has shocked everyone at PSG with his incredible shape. Let's get into it! Manchester City rejected Chelsea's bid for Emerick Laporte. The champions of England will only consider selling Sterling and Aki to the pensioners. Bayern have sold left-back Omar Richards to Nottingham Forest for £8.5 million. The footballer signed a four-year contract. Several MLS clubs are interested in the services of Sergio Busquets. He's gonna leave Barcelona next summer as a free agent. Francisco Trincao switched Barcelona to Sporting from Lisbon. The Catalans will receive 10 million euros, while the contract will include a buyback option. Royal Sociedad Swedish forward Alexander Isak may move to Real Madrid. He is seen as a replacement for Luka Jovic. AC Milan have opened talks with centre-back Fikayo Tomori over a new five-year permanent deal. Experienced goalkeeper Sergio Asenjo has swapped Villarreal for his native Real Valladolid who have recently been promoted back to La Liga. Manchester City held a presentation ceremony for three summer signings – Julian Alvarez, Erling Haaland and Stefan Ortega. Ukrainian football legend Andrei Yarmolenko will return to Dynamo Kiev as a free agent this summer. Lazio bought Granada goalkeeper Luis Maximiano for 10 million. He'll replace Pepe Reina. Chelsea demands 7 million euros from Barcelona for their defender Cesar Aspilicueta. The leader of Lyon, Lucas Paqueta, told the club's management about his desire to quit. He will be released in case the kids receive a lucrative offer. Newcastle United manager Eddie Howe has asked the management to acquire Leeds winger Jack Harrison. Wolfsburg and Switzerland right back Kevin Mbabo is soon to join Fulham. Sevilla will attempt to loan left-back Sergio Rigolon from Tottenham. Antonio Conte did not take him to the preseason tour in Seoul. Yesterday, Raheem Sterling flew to London to undergo a medical before his transfer to Chelsea. Inter Milan have started talks over the move of Torino centre-back Gleason Bremer. The Maroons demand 40 million euros for the Brazilian. Serie A debutant Monza made an offer to Luis Suarez, who is still a free agent this summer. The recruiting of a new centre-back remains one of Manchester City's priorities. Yoshka Guardiol is among the main candidates. Gerard Piquet broke up with the waitress, being in a relationship with whom caused him to break up with Shakira. Milan Skriniar is as close as possible to moving from Inter to PSG. The champions of France will lay out 70 million euros. Manchester United are considering having RB Leipzig forward Brian Brabe in the ranks. The Red Devils intend to snap him up from Ajax. Lille have signed former France midfielder Remy Cabella. West Ham are monitoring Roma winger Justin Kluivert if they fail to bring Arno Danjuma from Villarreal. Manchester United are scouting PSG's Leandro Paredes as an alternative to Frankie de Jong. The price demanded by the Parisians makes a big problem, though. Arsenal are no longer in the race for Sassuolo forward Gianluca Scamacca. PSG offer the Italian much better conditions. Chelsea attacker Armando Broja is hunted by Everton, Newcastle or West Ham. The whiz kid spent last season on loan at Southampton. Newly minted PSG coach Christophe Galtier wants to see Kerfin Thuram, with whom he had previously worked in Nice in the squad. I see Juventus and Inter ahead of everyone else with the Bianconeri holding a slight advantage, and Milan just behind. I thought they were last season, but they were very good at giving their all. Buffon was quoted as saying by La Stampa. Sporting Lisbon are seeking the possibility of purchasing Miral and Pjanic from Barcelona. The former centre-back of Ukraine national team Ivan Orditz was sent to Bochum from Dinamo Moscow on loan. Nicolo Zaniolo plans to change clubs this summer, with his priority being a move to Juventus. There is a good chance that Liverpool will play another good season. We have a space for improvement. Club was quoted as saying by Sky Sports. 
Liverpool captain Jordan Henderson has been awarded an MBE for services to sport and charity. The legendary Wayne Rooney flew to Washington. He is expected to become the head coach of DC United soon. Now we can have a little rest and move on to the hottest topics of the day. The transfer of Rafinha from Leeds to Barcelona seems to be a settled matter. According to Diario Sport, the Brazilian is confident in his upcoming departure to Catalonia. Besides, it's likely that the Blaugrana will even be able to confirm the transfer today, paying 55 million euros plus add-ins. Chelsea offered the midfielder the same terms, but he chose the Blaugrana. Bayern are already actively looking for a plan B to Robert Lewandowski. Tottenham star Harry Kane was considered a long-term priority for Munich. However, Bayern understand that it's nearly impossible to complete this deal in 2022. According to Kicker, Tottenham have no plans to let its forward go. Moreover, Spurs bosses intend to offer him a new and improved contract. Real Madrid and Vinicius Jr. have agreed on an upgraded contract until the summer of 2027. His current cooperation with Los Blancos runs until 2024. Under the terms of New Deal, the Brazilian will become one of Real Madrid's highest. Yesterday, Erling Haaland showed himself to Man City supporters. As always, the stellar Norwegian answered questions with a bit of humor. The match against which team am I most looking forward to? I don't like to say the words, but Manchester United, yeah. Stated the forward during the meeting with fans. I've played against City before, it's a different level. I didn't touch the ball for 25 minutes. I was like, please Gundogan, stop playing tiki-taka. Manchester United have no intention of selling Cristiano Ronaldo this summer. The team is confident of the Portuguese soon joining the team for Australia and Thailand preseason tours. Interestingly enough, following the Sun publisher, Ronaldo received a six-figure contract bonus at the beginning of July. The bonus was approved immediately after his return to Old Trafford. As soon as the amount entered his account, Cristiano informed the club bosses of his desire to quit. Chelsea head coach Thomas Tuchel is not thrilled with the idea of getting Cristiano Ronaldo aboard. The German wants to build a squad that plays well in positional attacks, so he is not sure if Ronaldo will fit into his philosophy. Tuchel also fears that Cristiano's transfer will badly affect the team's youngsters, as it did at Manchester United last season. Theoretically, Tuchel hopes to use Rafinha and Sterling as wingers, with Kai Havertz in front. At the same time, the new owner of the club, Todd Boyle, advocates the transfer of Ronaldo, because the Portuguese can bring lots of profit. Lionel Messi, who has already started preparing for the new campaign, has significantly improved his physique. From the videos shown by the official sources, it can be seen that the world's famous Argentinian gained a good amount of muscle, shocking the coaching and medical staffs of Paris Saint-Germain. Some of his indicators did not show him being 35 years old. Leah's physical shape is at the level of a 30-year-old athlete. Apparently, Lionel is very unhappy with his latest performances in Liga 1 and the Champions League, so he wants to rehabilitate. Besides, the fateful 2022 World Cup in Qatar awaits La Pulga in winter. By the way, Vinicius Jr. also impressed everyone with his enthusiasm for success. Watch the new Vamosita video and find out Junior's fitness secrets. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.